Then there's Tap, or Tap the Show, I guess. This is another jukebox musical, but specifically for tap dancers. The logo appears to feature Tom Cruise going Ghost Protocol. Okay, somebody really messed up while setting up this puppet show. Oh, this show put in product placement not only for Hershey, but for the other show. Now that's synergy. We'll go ahead and brag about it. Okay, who's making Hershey s'mores in the toaster oven? Oh, it was one of those quick change blackouts. Fascinating rhythm. Well, don't oversell it, buddy. All right, gang, flying V. What's up this medley that kept going back and forth between 42nd Street and I Got Rhythm? What's next? The slower version of 42nd Street. Oh good, a third song. Me and my shadow, appropriately enough, with shadows. Yeah, first they're rubbing it in the faces of people without rhythm, now they're rubbing it in the faces of people without shadows. That's just mean. Peter Pan is very easily offended. Oh, the cast of Book of Mormon is here. And now it's the ghosts of an old-timey vaudeville act up to their wacky shenanigans. I mean, it's not just you and your shadow, it's like half a dozen of you and their half a dozen shadows. Well, we're back to 42nd Street, but this time it's in front of a Windows Media Player screen. Uh, either I'm back at Wizarding World watching the Triwizard Show, or something potentially culturally insensitive is going on. It seems we're entering a montage of different dances around the world that influenced tap as we know it today, and there's not really a whole lot to make fun of here, but the dancers were good and talented, so I hope they're doing well now. Then this girl comes out and starts singing... Imagine. Not what I usually think of as a dance song. Like, I get the Broadway hits and the cultural tunes, but John Lennon's melancholy ballad that kinda argues for nihilism as a path to enlightenment? Classic song, but not exactly a toe-tapper. And the dancers give it their all, and they don't miss a beat, but the dance beat really has to be forced into the ballad beat. This honestly would have made more sense to me in Rock the Jukebox than in Tap. Like, I take back everything I said about yesterday being out of place. The singer is good, the dancer is good, the choice is weird. Get the energy up after that. Please, people, come on, get the energy up. Okay, 
Okay, so I never thought the titular dancing in the street in this song was, you know, tap dancing, but at least it's far less of a stretch for me. Yeah, he's at the place we are! Springfield has become... Woo! Springfield! Oh god, the dancers have us surrounded. First dancing in the aisle, then dancing in the street, then dancing shall consume the world! No, I should have known that the street we were dancing in was 42nd. That notoriously boogie beat. Well, that's more accurate. Then they bounce back to Aerosmith later. Is this a conflict of interest with Rock and Roller Coaster? Well, both of these shows had some confusing playlist choices, but both were fun, mostly high energy shows with fantastically talented performers, and they were a fun addition to this park. I don't know if they're still playing at this theater, but. Whatever is playing there is probably a similarly good time. Baby, baby.